Yo! What's up, guys? It's me, your boy, B, back here on the YouTube channel. Today, guys, we're continuing the Fierce of Fathom series. We are playing episode three, Carson House. This, and right off the bat, before we start talking a lot, this looks like the house from episode one, Home Alone. I'm assuming it's a little bit different, but it looks like we are back into a house situation similarly to like in Fears of Fathom episode one. So let's see what episode three does a little bit different with the little house scenario. Hold on. Sorry guys, I had to turn down my desktop audio because I don't know, like this game is so like not good. Like they have options, but there's no audio options. It's just this. It's just resolution, FPS counter, V-Sync, or window. There's no, like, audio options, so you can't, like, lower the volume. You can't do any of that shit, so... Tweaking the settings before playing the game is pretty annoying. I just had to do that just now, but... Guys, if you guys are, um, you know, ready for today's video, if you guys are excited for today's video, make sure you guys like the video, comment down below, or chat in the premiere, and subscribe to the channel. Please, thank you. It helps out a bunch. I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you guys. Love you guys. All right. Um. So we've been doing the whole Fears of Fathom series, guys. Right? We completed episode one. We completed episode two yesterday, and now we're on episode three, Carson House. I have no idea what to expect. Um. It looks like this little exposition is the same for about all of these. Um. So it doesn't really give you anything different, or like you know. It doesn't really like tell me what I'm about to play so we just have to go in there blind and we're gonna just figure this out all right let's let's stop talking let's play Carson house so here we go guys episode three of fears to fathom Carson house let's go uh, we got a new game right here fears to fathom episode three Carson house September 24th so this has happened after, I believe, uh, episode 2. I think episode 2 was like June or something like that. June 9th or some shit. Alright, so here we have our main character. My name is Noah. I'm a 28-year-old male from the Midwest. I have no idea why I'm sending this, but I hope my story can be a lesson. This happened to me when I was 18. So it happened to Noah around 10 years ago. Sheesh. But I remember this incident. Like yesterday, as the trauma dictated a major part of my life. A word? For a little background, my dad was a realtor and almost always became friends with his clients. One day he came home and pitched me a small job offer for the weekend. One of his old clients was going away for a few days and needed somebody he could trust to watch over his house. The man worked as a COO at a local media company. Dad told me the man would pay me $100 just to watch the house and do some basic chores. I accepted the offer as I, as I had nothing interesting going on for the weekend. Besides, I thought I could use the time to get my schoolwork done. Plus, I wasn't picky where my pocket money came from. My dad drove me to the house. So we're... Oh, okay, so we're in the game. We are in episode three, Carson House of Fears to Fathom. It looks like we are in, in a laundromat. And right off the bat, optimization for episode three is a lot better than one and two. Frames are looking very stable. Everything is looking crisp and clear and smooth. Dot, dot, dot. Hello, anyone in here? I gotta take a dookie. Please? It's turtling out of my bunghole. I can't hold it in anymore! Damn you. Damn you for locking the bathroom. It's alright. I'll just have I'll just take a dookie in here. We'll take a dookie in here, put it on the spin cycle for uh like 70 years. 70 year spin cycle. So we're good. We're good. Everything seems good. So let's talk a little bit about what we just uh read. So we're in car uh we um our dad is a realtor. He makes friends with a lot of his clients. One of his clients, a COO of a local media company, asked us to, you know, babysit his house, or, you know, watch over his house and do some chores for a uh, hundred bucks. And we agreed. We obliged. So we're going to go ahead and watch, um, 
our dad's client slash friend's house. And right off the bat, I'm clicking things. I'm clicking things, but nothing's happening. Oh, looks like we got a little video game here. We got a little Pac-Man here. Super Void. Okay. Can't play that. I don't know. What am I supposed to do? Oh, so use the crouch. Right. Okay. Just in case we gotta get a little stealthy mode. So, like in Episode 2, or uh, not like in Episode 2, you can't access the soda machine. Or at least not here, at least. And there's still no jumping feature, which is pretty annoying. So, bathroom is cooked. Someone's taking a massive duke ski in there. Dropping the freaking, the freaking, uh, freaking sequoia log upon that mother effort. Oh. Notice, employees only. Um, am I an employee? Can we leave through the front door? Can we just leave? It's raining heavy. Alright, so front door is unleavable. It is unleavable. Can't access the newspaper and catch some. Maybe some breaking news stories. I'm scared. There's no one here. We're in a laundromat. There's literally no one here in the laundromat. What the hell? Why did it close? Why did the door close behind me? Let me out! No! Oh shit. God damn it. This is why I hate horror games, guys. This is why I hate horror games. No smoking. And then it looks like someone was smoking here. Okay. What the? Oh shit. Yo, we are in like the freaking Silent Hill of laundromats, dude. Yo, chill with me. Chill on me, gang. Chill on me, gang. Yeah, we are in the Silent Hill of laundromats right now. What is happening? Oh! Ah! Shift to sprint. Who's behind me? No one's behind me. Well, we don't have to sprint because no one's chasing us. But it looks like we're in some, like, infinite void. In a very, um... I like the imagery that they use there. They, we had the little arcade game called, like, Super Void. And right now, we're kind of, like, stuck in a void right now, you know? We're, like, kind of stuck in purgatory. We got some spooky music playing. Oh, we got, a, we got a little guy here. Hey, buddy. Oh, it's Joe. Hey, Joe. Bleach. What? Where did you put it? What is this place? Where is Bleach? I need Bleach. What even is this place? Who are you? I don't know what you're talking about. We'll go with the first one, because that one, second one is like, we're kind of being an asshole. I said, I need bleach. Noah? Noah? Nap time's over. We're here. We're here. You said you could do this. Wake up, now. Wake up, Noah. Noah, wake up. Noah, wake up. Oh, it's our dad. Da da da. You still think you could do this? How long did I do it off for? Doesn't matter. Can you do this now? I got this. Roy called and said the key should be under the fake rock. Got it. He said it's in the backyard. And like I said, keep the doors locked and don't open the door for anyone. I heard you the first time, Dad. Okay now, get your ass to work. I hope you know I'm only in it for the snacks. Do you need anything else from me? Not really. Alright then, what are you waiting for? Scram! Okay, chill, gang. Chill, pops. Dude out here want me to leave it bad. Alright, are you leaving? Oh, alright, and he's gone. Pops is gone. So here we are. What is this, math notebook? Oh, it's a little kitty. Hold on. Oh, I love the little kitty. Wait, how do I access the notebook? Pressing buttons, see if it'll access like a no like a menu of some sorts. Math notebook. It was a nice neighborhood, what? So let's see what we can explore for this neighborhood. Oh, not really much. There's an invisible wall right here. So it looks like we're, you know, uh, forced to just hang out at the area that we have to play in. We can't really go off adventure too much. I know that there's some glitches that you could do with uh, the things that you can grab in this game to like clip over these invisible walls. 
but we're not gonna do that. Uh, it says I couldn't just leave like this. How do I access that notebook? So we got four new messages from Evelyn Cooper. Who is this, our girlfriend? Is this our girlfriend? So we're Noah, we're about 18 right now. This happened to us when we are 18. We're currently 28, so it looks like we survived. Everything's Gucci. And, um, yeah. Let's see if we can go knock on uh, the neighbor's door. Hey, Jim! Would you mind if I, uh, you mind if I borrow some sugar? I need it for some chocolate chip cookies I'm making. Hello? Okay, he doesn't care. He doesn't care. Screw you, Jim! I never liked you anyways. Your car sucks, too. Freaking Jim. Freaking Jim. Alright, so here's our here's our house. Carson house. Boom, right here, baby. What is this math notebook? It's really, like, bothering me. It just keeps on floating in my face, and it's like, dude, get out of my screen. Rail was too lazy to model the garage. Rail, oh, that's funny. Rail is the, um... Rail is the company that created this game. They just called themselves out. They just called themselves out. I like that. They got a little bit of, you know... A little bit of humor. Had to get the key from the backyard. Why is there scary music playing? Is there something scary that's supposed to be happening right now? And am I alone in this house? I better not be alone. I mean, of course I'm not going to be alone. There's definitely going to be some scary freaking monster. But I hope there's, like, people I could talk to. Didn't want to mess with this, that, that, that kind of stuff. That stuff. Oh, we got a little side door action. Had to get the key from the backyard. Is this the key? No. The fake rock was by the old doghouse? Oh yeah? Oh yeah? Where's the doghouse? Oh, here we go. Oh, we can go into the pool. Have a little nice little dip in here. I got a little wet. Indeed, I did. Why are all the lights on if there's no one home? Where's the dog? I don't know why I kept going back to that pool at, that uh, that night. is kind of fun. What? Boy. The dog's name is Boy? That is the... Oh! Oh, they got a little dog in here, guys. It's a little uh, Rottweiler, too. Aw. You gonna help me uh, kill this ghost? Are you gonna be my little ro the Robin to my Batman? Hopefully. Hopefully. Hopefully when the time comes. Oh, we can play frisbee with him. Come on, doggy. Come on, boy. Catch, boy. Where'd my frisbee go? Where'd the frisbee go? Dude, the frisbee just glitched into the ground. It's in the... Ugh. Come on, bro. Really? The frisbee glitched into the ground. Hopefully we don't need that. Fake rock key. So I'm guessing the top right is just like an inventory system. But, um, you can't really, like, access it. It's just, like, there. Good dog, good home. Okay, we're in. All right, here we go, guys. We are in the Carson house. How do I lock the door? I don't know. Okay. So here we are, guys. We're in the Carson house. Not sure what to expect. I had to pee. Not sure what to expect, guys. Who's here? I know someone's behind here. Behind the shower curtain. You're in here! Oh, no. We can't even open it. All right. Where's the front door, though? Is this the front door? Oh, this is. Okay. Let's close it up. All right. So, huge difference from Home Alone. Oh, jeez. So a huge difference from um, Home Alone, the house is so much bigger, so much more interactive. There's a dog in the house, crazy things, cool, a lot of cool uh, furniture, a lot of cool things to interact with. How do I get out of here? Onto this get out of here. Alright, well, let's read this text messages. 
How do I make? Can you get me out of here, bitch? Like a baby suckling upon Fry a the cat food. Oh, I'm scared. To get get me out of here. Okay, now wow, that's cooking. Jeffrey really just be Jeffrey sometimes? What do you mean, dude? I'm scared. I will be preparing what's known as. God, all right, screw this. I'm just gonna read. This guy's like trying to teach me how to cook something. This school full of assholes. I know, right? But I don't think you're an asshole. I don't think you're either. Alright, hold on. We gotta just watch this. Roy Carson? How do we, we have new messages? How do we check the new messages? Dude, thank God. Dude, it wouldn't let me get out of here. Man, screw this TV, bro. Oh, maybe I maybe I had to maybe I wasn't even pressing the right button. What the hell? Maybe I wasn't pressing the right button. All right, let's start by reading these text messages because, jeez, yeah, this house is huge. Do not disturb for any reason. Oh shit! Oh, let's go. Let's get out of here. I hate the ads. Oh, chill. The basement was a little too dark. Holy, yo, this is looking like some freaking conjuring type-ish. So yeah, right off the bat, there's a lot more interactivity within the house. I really like it. It's really dope. Can we grab any food? Oh, we can. Uh, let's throw that back in there. I don't want to like lose anything. Just in case we might need it for the playthrough later. Um, okay, so we have to pee, right, in order to start the next quest, but I want to just keep exploring the house, everything. We got an upstairs. Yeah, the upstairs is huge. I realized the house is way bigger than ours. Jeez, this place is looking like a freaking morgue. Oh, hell nah. We got some freaking, like, oh, what the, it looks like an unkempt bed. Looks like someone got out of here kind of quick, eh? Oh, we got the little dog right there. We have a math notebook on us. Jeez, he's got the freaking Virgin Mary up in here. What's going on? Virgin Mary and freaking Al Capone. Close that ish. We got a bathroom up here. So we got a bathroom downstairs. We got a bathroom up here. We got like a storage room. Just chilling. Looks out at the front door, eh? Alright, yeah, this is a big house, guys. Big, big house. Compared to the first one. Uh, Mr. Carson's bedroom has this weird smell of wet clothes. Lights don't work. So they said that Mr. Carson's bedroom has a weird smell of wet clothes. Hmm. Why would his clothes always be wet, huh? Why does it smell like a swamp in here? Is he Shrek? Couldn't open it from there. Oh, we got like a laundry room here. Okay. Wow, yeah, this house is huge, guys. Oh. Hello, 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 hello. Wait, why could we hear that audio or like the mic, mic pickup? Hello, hello. Mr. Carson's office looked like a good spot I could sit down to work. Hello, hello, hello. Why did that microphone thing come out? That was so weird. Oh. Oh. So I don't think we're I don't think we're hiding from anything yet, but we have an option. You're interesting. So we could, oh this 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 wall is boarded up or that uh, door is boarded up. So the only time we get that uh, microphone interaction is when we're in here. So, something tells me that we're gonna have to come back inside here and hide here. I'll be on that new type-ish. Alright, well, I'm not scared of no zombies. I'm not scared of no ghosts, no things. You know, it's just a video game. F these guys. Um, yeah. Let's just go. Can we use the bathroom up here? Oh, we can. Okay, we're taking a little leaky leak. Oh, dang, I'm missing. We're missing the toilet. Can I, like, not miss? 
Oh, you can control the pee with your mouse. Wow, okay. Gotta wash our hands. Okay, it looks like we don't have to wash our hands. We're good. Okay, we gotta read these text messages. I'm getting distracted. Who's in here? It should just be me, right? I'm not scared of you. We boy! Help me, boy. I'm scared. Let's hang out with boy. Because boy, you know, he should protect us when the going gets tough. Ain't that right, boy? Because, you know, dogs aren't scared of ghosts. They're man's best friends. He'll do anything to help me out. This guy goes far. Oh, is he actually going to help me? Yo, boy, are you good? Where's he going? Oh, is he kind of following me now? Oh, no. Hmm. That was weird. He went really far. He went really far. Oh, now he's going to his doghouse. Oh. Where's he going? Oh, hey, boy. You good, boy? I guess he's just chilling. Alright, let, let's read these messages. Let's start with Evelyn Cooper. Who is this chick? Make it... This school is full of assholes. I know, right? But I don't think you're an asshole. I don't think you're either. Man, come on, bro. Stop with this freaking... Let me call you- Oh my god, bro. Stop. 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 Stop, 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 stop. Okay. Let me call you in a bit. Pick up. I really wish you could come tonight. Me too. Things you do to keep your old man happy. You know, I haven't been a good kid to him. If your dad doesn't think you're a good kid, I don't even want to know what mine thinks about me. Ugh. Oh my god, stop fucking texting me. Oh my god, dude, please, bro, please, stop. Okay, I just think I really disappointed him with Kara. Not again, Noah. You have to stop beating yourself up about it. Wait, did that bitch call you again? I just can't help but still feel so stupid. It wasn't your fault, period. Anyways, you've got- Oh my god, dude. There's no new text messages, I don't understand. Why does he keep showing new text messages? There's no new text messages. Stop. Uh, I just, we just got an achievement. I just can't call it reader. I just can't help but feel so stupid, whatever. Uh, it's not your fault, period. Anyways, you've got some making up to do here. The Grudge next week? Wink, wink. 100%. 100%. Wink, wink. The Grudge? Are they talking about the movie? Hell no, I hated that movie. That shit was, that shit horrified me. I remember watching that shit when I was in like the seventh grade. That shit was deadly. That shit was scary as fuck. It was me and my friends. It was at a sleepover. That we, we didn't watch it because it was too scary. Smiley face heart. Smile, a little eyeball. Eyeball winks. Smart heart, heart. This little baby. Oh, you can actually click the images. Wow. I love cats, by the way. Little orange cat. I'm honestly jealous of Ava. Raffle. I know, right? Just had this weirdest dream. Just had this weirdest dream ever. Ooh, what was it about? Weird reminds me of cooking with Jeffrey on Channel 10 last night. By the way, the rerun must be on, right? Now you gotta watch it with me. Wait, that place got a TV? It's on, are you watching it? Cat food? It's my favorite dish, hee <laughs> hee. Tongue out. Jeffrey really just be Jeffrey sometimes. Oh God, I hate these ads. I'm sorry Eve, I think I gotta run. This dude's on my ass right now. Wants me to get groceries in the middle of the night. Here we go, Roy Carson. So this is the person who, uh, this is the person's house that we are um, house sitting. Thanks for taking up the job, kid. I really appreciate you doing this. I'm sorry I had to leave early, Mr. Carson. My bad, it's Roy. Got this contract contact from Walter. Work is really getting the best of me. Oh, no problem, Mr. Carson. My pleasure, really. Ha ha, he's my dad. I wouldn't have asked for anyone if it wasn't for Zeke. Zeke? 
Always been a little sick lately. Oh, I'll take care of him in the house now that I'm here. You have nothing to worry about, Mr. Carson. Wait, I wouldn't have asked for anyone if it wasn't for Zeke. So, there's someone in the house? Oh, uh, you're a lifesaver, kid. Speaking of him, I wanted to remind you it's his dinner time. If you could get him his dog food from the basement. Right on it. Also, I think you should get the groceries before it gets too dark outside. There's some cash in my nightstand. Groceries. Ranch, strawberry jelly, chalk spread for Alec, milk and eggs, get garden peas, get honey, rice, Uncle Tony's only ketchup, don't forget milk and eggs. Oh, I'm on it, Mr. Carson. Alright, so we have to go to the basement to get the dog food? Wait, why is his name? I thought his name was Boy. Where'd Boy go? What the hell? Oh, the dog's here. Oh, hey, buddy. You want to come, um, you know... Um, give it to this ghost with me? You want to go help me, um, dispose of this spooky thing that's whatever is in this house? Can you come inside, boy? Boy? You good, boy? Oh, boy. Come on. I think we can lead him into the house. If we hold down left click? Ah, we can. So we can have boy, um, help us, you know, defeat the, the evil spirit that's in Carson's house. Okay, just kidding. Looks like he doesn't want to come in. Oh, there we go. Maybe we, could, maybe we just have to keep leading him in. Let's try to get Boy into the house. Maybe he's not scripted to go into the house. What if I just turn around this one right behind me? Ah! No, that's not. Alright, let's go. We'll leave, uh, we'll leave him outside. Alright, we gotta go get the dog food. Where's the dog food? Man, can we get some lights on in this mother effer? Hell nah. Where's the dog food? Roy Carson. It keeps on saying there's new messages. There's nothing. Uh, Alright, well, I don't know how to turn on the lights down here. There's one light. I don't know how to turn on the lights down here. Hope, thankfully, there's no one here right now, or else I would literally be shitting my pants. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I don't see dog food, though. But we probably have to... Let's just go upstairs. Let's go to Carson's room. Mr. Carson's room, and then there's money on the nightstand. There's money on the nightstand. I'm sweating, guys. I'm literally sweating, guys. Literally. Literally. I'm sweating, dude. Money! Got it. So we got... Uh, what's up with this menu? See, the uh, menu's a little glitchy. It's a little glitchy, eh? Alright, let's go. So we gotta go get some groceries. I mean, I try to go to the basement to get some... Uh, for, tr for your trouble, get something for yourself as well. It's on the house. Thank you. Okay. Alright, so I'm, gu I'm guessing we have to go to the grocery store. How do we go to the grocery store? I'm assuming it's with that bike, right? You can take Alex's bike. It's outside the garage. Yeah, with the bike. Oh, wow. So this is very interesting. Straight off the bat, not really, you know, playing like a horror game. We're just, we're literally riding a bike to go pick up some groceries. Oh, okay. This is pretty fire. This is pretty fire. Where's the grocery store, though? Yeah, this is pretty gas. This is pretty gas right now. Jeez, I feel like I'm freaking walking down freaking Nightmare on freaking Elm Street. Nightmare on freaking P. Diddler Street. Jesus, man. What's going on? 9.22 p.m. What the hell? Why is it always gotta be so late, bro? Oh, wow. We actually... Wow, it's a whole new area. That's awesome. Can we die? Oh, Shiba. There are other reasons I could have died that night. Oh, so there are other reasons, eh? And what might that be? What might that be, eh? Huh? What would my bike go? Oh, okay, it's right there. Hey, this is kind of fire. So we, we made it into town. Stop! Alright, he don't care. We made it into town. And um, we're about to go go to the, 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 the local Nux. We're about to go ahead and just pick up some groceries for Mr. Carson. 
So right off the bat, we don't know what really is the paranormal uh, evil entity of this episode. Because, you know, we haven't been introduced to anything yet, nor have has anyone told us about anything. Um, so let's just do what we gotta do. We gotta go grocery shopping. Oh! Wow, this is pretty sweet. Hey there, kind sir. How's it going tonight? How you doing? Good. Hi, you doing good? Doing good. You? Doing good. Use a shopping basket. Oh, okay. Is this a shopping basket? Where's it? Oh, right here. Hey, this is fire. Oh! Oh, that's nice. That makes things a lot easier. Oh, okay, we got a little uh, couple of kids here. Hey, guys. And speak of the devil. Turner and Andy? What are you guys doing here? We'll say Turner and Andy. Bro, your girl was here. She just left. Eve? What was her name? Kara or something? Dude, I said they're not dating anymore. Oh yeah, he hopped to that other chick so quick I didn't even realize. Don't listen to him. But dude, she bought tons and tons of cans. I think she's throwing like a party or something. You know anything about it? Bro, she looks way older without the makeup. Milf energy, bro. Ew, I think she's more like a, a goth. Goth milf energy! When will you grow up, Turner? Are you guys done? Anyways, dude. What are you up to tonight? Uh, house sitting for this guy, Carson, tonight. You mean Alex? He goes to school with my sister. Heard kid's a real weirdo. Especially since his parents split up. Uh, yeah, whatever fills my pocket, I'm in for. We'll say that. Alright, dude. See you at school on Monday, then. See you around, Andy. How's it going with the new chick, by the way? Who are you talking about? That quiet girl, what was her name now? He was so, he was also very popular for his douchebag pranks. Loki, I didn't like the guy, didn't hate him either. We just never shared the vibe. I'm reading the, the dialogue on the bottom. Evelyn Cooper? It's pretty good. Alright, good talk, bro. Dot, dot, dot. So that's it for the uh, conversation. What? Nothing. Dot, dot, dot. So that's it for the dialogues. So we saw Turner and Andy. We got Turner and Andy, a, a, a couple of uh, classmates of ours. They're just hanging out at the local Nux. About to go, potentially, to a party that Kara's throwing our ex-girlfriend. Dang, I gotta take a dookie right now. I'm not gonna lie. Excuse my, um... Excuse my, um... Vulgarity? Who's this chick? Dot dot dot. This looks like freaking Martha... This looks like a... Uh, no, I was about to say Martha Stewart. This looks like freaking even a Longoria. Whatever her name was. Hold on, I gotta take a doo-doo. Alright guys, I'm back. Holy crap, I just took the massivest dump ever. I'm not gonna lie, it felt very, very good. I feel like a new man. I feel like nothing can stop me. And... You know... Everything's good. I don't remember buying anything Mr. Carson didn't ask for. So we're in the grocery store. What do we need? So we got a new message from Evelyn, our girlfriend, our current girlfriend. Um, she said, what are you doing? And we didn't respond. So we got to get ranch strawberry jelly. Is she humming to herself? I think she is. She is. You hearing that? So we need ranch, strawberry jelly. Let's go for those two. Ranch. Oh my god, what the hell? Who is this granny? Hey son, do you work here? No, uh, I'm just here shopping. Huh, okay son. I'll just say, what is it? My son likes mustard. I came here looking for it, but I can't find it for the life of me. Do you know where it is? Uh, hold on. Let me get it for you. Oh, how nice of you. I'll be I'll, I'll be right over here Okay, so we got to get the grandma some mustard. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. You know Maybe this car maybe this will be good karma in the end, you know And the ghost or whatever is here. It won't try to eat my face off, you know because we helped the old granny out But then again, that doesn't really make sense. I feel like you know It's not gonna stop for anyone, you know Alright, so we got some mustard. 
Let's go ahead and give it to the granny. Hey, granny. Got you your mustard. Very well. There it is. Huh? Give mustard. Thank you, son. Oh, we got an achievement. Help old lady in the store. No problem, ma'am. All in a day's work. All in a day's work now. Let's see the interaction. Let's see what happens here. Are you gonna ring her up, sir? Or are you just gonna stare there and keep looking at her? Oh, she's shoplifting! She's shoplifting! Call the police! You're not gonna do anything? Alright, well, I guess he's not. Alright, I need ranch. And we need strawberry jam. Is this strawberry jam? Oh, shit. Dang. How do I, like, look at this item? Dude, I don't, I don't know. Whatever. Uh, we're just gonna hope and praise that that is strawberry jam. It looks like it is. So, is this, is this ranch or, oh, that's mayonnaise. Ooh. So we need this. This is ranch. The hell? Why is it, like, perfectly balanced on top of this jam? Get, get in the basket. Alright. Ranch. Strawberry jelly, choco spread, chocolate spread. Oh, here we go. We got a little chocolate spread right there. Milk and eggs. It's probably to go to the refrigerated section, eh? Grab a little bit of milk and eggs here. Oh, we got some beers here. Might have to go ahead and treat ourselves, just like Mr. Carson told us to. Uh Oh, we got some eggs right here. Now we just need some milk. Ah, here we go. Perfect. Uh, let's see what else we need. We need some garden peas and we need some honey. So we need some garden peas and we need some honey. I like this though about the game. They definitely just added a little bit more, you know, a little bit more video game to the game, you know? Garden peas. That's a banana. This milk is... A, on some crazy stuff. How is it just like balancing like this perfectly? I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't know where we would find garden peas. What the heck? I mean, it looked like it would be here, right? I don't think I see any. Oh, maybe here? Oh, no, these are fruits. Um, don't know. It probably would be in, like, some can, right? Garden peas, honey, rice, Uncle Tony's. We need Uncle Tony's rice. Uh, Uncle, oh, here we go. Uncle Tony's rice. Um, what is this, uh, dog food? We need ketchup. Don't forget the milk and eggs. We already got the milk and eggs, though. We need ketchup now. Ketchup was over here right now. It was over where the condiments were, I think. Uh, is this ketchup? Oh, it is gold's ketchup. It's the same thing. All right, let's, let's grab the gold's ketchup. Uh, we just need one more item. We just... Oh, no, we need honey. And then we need garden peas. What the hell is... Where do we find garden peas? That's some Gatorade here. Some Jaderade. Not even freaking Gatorade. Is this honey? Creamy sauce? No. Honey. Oh, here we go. Honey. So we got the honey. Uh, last item is garden peas. We just need to find the garden peas. Oh, it's right here. Ah, here we go. Jeez, our freaking cart is filled up. All right, I think we got everything. Ranch, strawberry jelly, chocolate spread, milk and eggs, garden peas, honey, rice, Uncle Tom's, and ketchup. I think, I think we got it. Should I build this for you? Yes, please. Thanks for shopping at Nux. You have a good one. Okay, we got everything. Okay, well, let's let's see. Uh, let's talk to the lady again. She, she's good. Let's talk to um, what are these guys' names again? Aiden. I forget. No, Aiden's from the first episode. I forget. 
Can we shoplift? No, we can't. Alright, is there anything else that we could do in this store here? Maybe we can interact with. Anything else? No, that's all. Thanks. There's this employee room back here. I don't think we could go in here, though. Yep, looks like we just get out of here. Let's just skedaddle on out of here. So I kind of have a feeling, um, I kind of know what is going to happen in this story. So the first two, we had a um, stalker. And I feel like this one is going to be a stalker as well. But I feel like it's our ex-girlfriend. Because we were talking with those guys at the grocery store. I forgot their names. But um, they were telling us, they were like, damn, yeah, you got up and left that other girl so fast. You know what I'm saying? Like, like she didn't even matter or anything, you know? And now we have a new girlfriend, Evelyn, who, we, who we've been texting this whole night. And I just got a feeling that potentially, um, you know, it might be sour ex-girlfriend that's, you know, on us. I got the groceries. I had to take care of the house now. It might be a sour ex that, you know, is, um, after us. Wait, this isn't the house. Oh, yeah, this isn't the house. Whoops. Uh, I don't think that's the house either. I think this is the house right there. Right here. Maybe just missed it a little bit. Oh. Um. Oh yeah, this is it. Okay. All right, so we're in the house. Um, things are probably gonna get spooky now, so I'm pretty terrified. Let's close the door. We gotta go to the kitchen. Just, you know what, if someone's here, just freaking show yourself, alright? Just freaking show yourself. Oh, jeez. I kept groceries in the kitchen. Just freaking show yourself, alright? I don't got time for this ish. I'm about to pull out a knife on their ass. Like I said, I had to get on my schoolwork for... Tomorrow? Schoolwork for Monday? Okay, how do I study? How do I study? Oh, we're not supposed to be in here, right? See to crouch? <clears throat> oh, we can drink. That's pretty cool. Um, where's my homework? Uh, is this my homework? No. It's probably gotta be like upstairs or something. Alright. What's in here? Is this the homework? No. Rail was too lazy to model the garage. Oh. I'm, I got my eyes peeled on in this mother effer. Ain't nobody about to pull up on my ass without me noticing them first. You feel me? F that. F that. So, uh, that's what I'm thinking that this story is going to be about. Our ex, we have a salty ex that we dumped, who's trying to get revenge on us. And, um, she stalked us, she stalked us at her house. I gotta say, though, not much diversity when it comes to, uh, the story. You know, all three episodes has to deal with the stalker. So, not really too diverse. Oh, there we go. We gotta do our homework here. Oh, jeez. Oh, we got like a camera system here. That's pretty cool. So, we're here at the camera. Probably gonna, you know, check out the hub skis. And we'll see what's going on here. Oh, this is easy. This is France. Yeah. Uh, we got, let's see what the next one. Oh, this is easy, it's Japan. 
Uh, this one is Germany. Yep. This one, I'm not too sure. Um, Togo? I don't think Togo is a real thing. We'll try uh, Somalia. Oh, it was, it was Togo! Wow, that was the one that I thought wasn't even a real country, but it is. Oh, this is easy. It's England. Wait, what? This is in England? It's gotta be New Zealand then. Yeah, New Zealand. Uh, what country is this flag? Mozambique, Somalia, Niger, or Cambodia? I think it's Niger, right? Yeah. Wait, wait, wait what? Oh, this is Australia. New Zealand and Australia have similar flags. I didn't even know that. Ooh, which one's this one? It has two Congos? Let's just try Qatar. Oh, it was Congo. Wow, that was a trick question. Uh, what country is this? Uh, this one's gotta be Romania, right? Yeah. Uh, which one is this one, though? It's probably United Arab Emirates, right? Oh, no, it's Cuba. Wow. Uh, what country is this? Uh, Liechtenstein, Seychelles, Kuwait. It's, uh, Lichten Liechtenstein. Dang, I didn't know all of these flags were, like, for real. This is why, like, Barbados. No, Venezuela. Jeez, we're goofing up. Georgia? No, it's gotta be, like, Laos. Yeah. Yeah, this one's easy. Canada. When does this game end? Uh, what is this? This one's, like, Uruguay, right? Guyana. This one, though, this one is Paraguay. This one's easy. Paraguay. What? It wasn't Paraguay? Dang it. I, I goofed that up. Sri Lanka? This looks like a Sri Lanka ass flag. Yeah. Jeez, what kind of flag is this? This is not South Korea. It's not Algeria. It's probably Saudi Arabia. Yeah. Um, they got like a little David star up in that hoe. This looks like uh, Lebanon. It's either Lebanon or Ethiopia. Probably Lebanon. Ethiopia, damn. This one. Bosnia? I don't know. Haiti. Okay, does this thing, like, end or no? Does this thing end or no? Alright, screw it. I don't think this ends. What's this? Recycle bin? What is this? So we just have a bunch of uh, things. Can we? How do we get? How do we get out of here? Oh, we just press escape. Okay, make sure no one's behind me. No one's freaking stalking my ass. A uh, guide to being a better person. Talk and talk, directed by Alec Carson. In this video, we'll be covering how to talk like a better person. Feel free to take a break whenever needed. Step one, don't be rude. Being rude will discourage people. Holy shit! That's, that was scary. What the hell? Sorry, it appears that something is wrong with the broadcast. And what do you mean, bro? This is some freaking... This is some freaking... Uh, in the meantime, enjoy some happy images. This is like some ring type shit. It's like some ring type shit. Step two, remain calm in any conversation. Jesus, yo, chill, gang. Now, even though what he said was controversial, did you stay calm? No. The secret to be calm is not your feelings interfere with the conver interfere with the conversation. Being calm makes you a better person. That's all we have for today. Man, what the hell? Yo, this dude is from that freaky shit, bro. Make it this freaking... You're protected. Egg. The program can't start because blah, blah, blah. DLL is missing. We have to try to program to fix this. VCD burner. The system has encountered a critical error. You're protected. Internet browser. Oh, we could search up. Let's search up uh, P. Diddy. Bruh. Let's see what happens. Okay. Inet. Oh, oh no.
This is like some Five Nights at Freddy's type shit. Okay, we got boy over there. What is this? Uh, feeling unlucky? Um, what do I have to do? I have to, um... MS, VR, VCR, Visa, wait, what? Uh, how to fix egg dot exe? No, it's not it. Is this how I'm supposed to do my homework? I really just had to pee first? Wait, how many times do we have to pee? Shit. So, we gotta go pee again. Yo, chill. Who's here? Someone here? I'm scared. I'm gonna close the door. F that. So, we're peeing again. We're letting, uh... We're letting the floodgates out again. I mean, it's crazy how you can actually control your peeing in this game. It's pretty crazy. How do I do my homework though? Oh, wow. whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on? Why do we have like five messages from this Andy? Dude, you said you were at Carson's, right? You need to see this. Search up Roy Carson to voice on the internet right now. Yo, chill. Things aren't looking like they're about to get crazy. Things are looking like they're about to get crazy, guys. So we gotta search up what? Roy Carson divorce. So we gotta do that. Roy Carson divorce. Roy... Carson divorce. Roy Cal Carson, co-founder of BN Media, claims to be receiving death threats from the from the angry fans of his ex-wife. Okay, let's look at it. Hunternews.com. Roy Carson, co-founder of BN Media, allegedly receiving death threats from the angry fans of his ex-wife. Uh, it's not unusual for audience to be nosy about some of the celebrities' personal matters, but sometimes it's just too overbearing. We see something similar with the case of Roy Carson, the COO and co-founder of BN Media, after his very public breakup and divorce with his wife, former actress Alyssa Brown Carson, has allegedly been receiving death threats from the fans of Alyssa Brown for the rumored infidelity that underwent within the said relationship. So, this guy Carson's getting death threats from his ex-wife's fans because she's a famous actor or actress what the fuck why do i see why did why did the doorbell just ring someone was at the front door yeah i could see that we're about to go to the cams we about to go to the cams mother effa who's at the front door who the hell is this is this a pizza guy I gotta make sure no one else is in this motherfucker with me. Just me and me alone. Let's continue reading. Let's continue reading. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, I, can, I know this one was reading. Sources say Roy Carson has had people knocking on his door to confront him. Alyssa hasn't been very vocal about the situation yet, but Hunter News is actively trying to reach out to her. So you, the reader, stays updated about the situation. Wait, what? Sources say Roy Carson has had people knocking on his door to confront him? Okay, that's very strange. Alright, well, we're crouching this mother effer. F that. Alright, so we gotta go to the front door. We gotta see who's there. What is this idiot? What does this guy want? 
We got some spooky music playing. It's raining like crazy. I don't know why this guy is in front of our my house or our hat this Carson guy's house. It's raining like shit. What does this guy want? Uh, who is it? Your delivery for your one medium size from Pizza De Depot, sir? Uh, I didn't order any pizza. Your one medium size pepperoni pizza, sir. Uh, you must be at the wrong house. This is 224 uh, Boulevard, right? That's correct. It's ordered by the name of um, Roy Carson. Leave. Yeah, no, I ain't letting nobody in this damn house. Fuck ass no. Fuck ass no. Hey, get your freaky ass on. No one ordered a pizza, bruh. Freak ass. Uh -huh. Get your ass up out of here, bruh. I'm hiding. I'm scared. What does this guy want, dude? Is he gonna not stop ringing? We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to hit him with the freaking. Uh, uh, we have to go outside to get his ass. And get. Couldn't go in the downpour. What? Uh, well, I searched it up and what's his name again? Andy. Andy didn't. He's not telling me anything. God, dude, what does this guy want, bro? I don't want the pizza, bro. I didn't order a pizza. Please open the door, sir. Leave. No, I'm not opening this shit, bro. I'm not opening this shit for you, bro. Fuck no. What the hell? Oh, hell nah. Get your freaky ass. Yeah, that's exactly what's about to happen to me. I ain't opening that door. Fuck no. Yeah, hell nah. Yeah, this is a foreshadowing of what's about to happen. Oh, hell nah. What the? Oh, is he a nice guy? He might be a nice guy. This guy looks like he's got Lord Farquaad's head. He's just a walking Lord Farquaad's. Okay, well... I mean, this guy's not good. Is he gonna stop ringing? Are you doing your work? You'll have to spend the night in the dungeon if you don't. Why am I hearing voices? Oh, it's a TV. Turn this freaky shit off. All right, we're good. I'm not. I'm not answering that door. Fuck no. My dad told me to not answer no one's door. Don't answer no one's door. Yeah, when dad dropped me off, he said, don't open that shit for nobody. So, fuck no, I'm not doing that. His ass is gonna stay in there. His ass about to stay right there, brother. Okay, what am I supposed to do? I guess I'm supposed to... I guess I'm supposed to open the door. He doesn't seem like he's sketch. You know? Test one. Unknown file type. Oh, this sketchy ass video. Get that shit out of here. Dude, this guy. Ugh, dude, am I gonna get jump scared, bro? <sighs> Fuck it. Fuck it, I'm just gonna get the pizza. I'm just getting the pizza. If I get jump scared, fuck it. <clears throat> just fucking... Here! Dot dot dot. Hey, this is probably a very strange request, but... Do you think I can wait inside until the rain's over? It's probably not very safe to be out here right now, and I forgot my raincoat at the shop. I'm not sure my dad would like that. He's upstairs. I'll just say this is not my house. I understand. You can just say no. Well, you have a good day. Yeah, bye. Oh, shit. Oh, he's gone. Okay. Alright, well, we got the pizza. Okay, it was just the pizza guy. 
Alright, it was just the pizza guy. Let's take the pizza back upstairs to our little, um... Wade from Kim Possible hacking station. And let's go ahead and check the cams. We're checking the cams, baby. We're gonna have our little pizza here. We're gonna check the cams. I, I think, right? Um, see, that's what I'm saying. Like, were we supposed to take the pizza? Someone's on the cams. I already know it. Someone's freak ass is on the cams. Get your freaky ass. Show yourself, damn it! I know you're in the house. We got a new text message from Roy. That's a good one. So we can finally progress a little. Look out for some pizzas. It should arrive any minute now. Enjoy. Okay. So this was sent by um, Roy. So this was sent by Roy. So we are good. Thought I should watch some TV while eating. Okay. Well, I, I kind of don't want to because the TV show always has some sketch-ass TV uh, freaking shows playing. But F it. We're going to do it. Alright, let's go. Let's eat some pizza. Let's do this thing. Oh, we got to turn the TV on. Let's do that. Yeah, this same creepy ass... Oh, shit. Oops. This same creepy ass shit with the creepy dude pulling up to our house. Pizza was nice and hot despite the rain. I thought I heard someone opening the door. Hello? Did I hear someone opening the door? Hell nah. We gotta make sure all the doors are locked, everything's closed, no one's freaky ass is trying to pull up on us. Potentially Kara, our ex-girlfriend. Are you doing your work? You'll have to spend the night in the dungeon if you don't. If you tell me what the radius of two square Jeez, is, man, yeah, what is this shit, bro? This shit definitely gives off that Gordon. creepy atmosphere for sure. By Mr. Dude looked like Sid days. from freaking Ice Age so over here. You see that shit? Hurt. I can't escape. Dude over here got that Sid from Ice Age kind of vibe going on. Dude got eyeballs on the side of his head type shit. He got that freaky ish going on. The hell? Dude don't even have a, a body. He's just all head and torso. Alright, we, we just gotta eat. Dang, we eating the whole pizza? I mean, I feel that. Uh, Evelyn Cooper, hope everything's okay. What, what do you mean? Why wouldn't things be okay? So I'm assuming we just, we just gotta eat the whole damn pizza. Before we can, like, move on to the- Holy shit! God damn! What the? Yo, someone's ringing the doorbell? I heard someone at the door again? Yo, what the hell? There's a s what the? Oh my god, are you guys seeing the TV? Dude, it's so weird, bro. It's so weird. Alright, who's outside? I can't see who's outside right now. But, uh, I'm checking the cams. I knew I heard a knock at the door, but there's no one there. Yo, chill. If anyone tries to attack me, I'm throwing this pizza box at their ass. Dude, I really wish we could fight in this game. I would throw hands immediately. I'll be throwing hands immediately. Alright, which one of you creeps is outside of my door? Oh, I see you! I see ya! She should be pulling up around here. There's something at the front of our door. You see that right there? Oh, she's lucky it's raining or else freaking boy or whatever our dog's name is. Man, we would have had to, well, I would have had to get your ass. Yeah, it, man, you lucky I don't got the dog here, bro. She lucky I don't got the freaking dog up in this mother effort. 
I had to bite the shit out of her, bro. Her freak ass. So we did see that little female. You guys saw that female? She pulled up to the side of the house. With her freak ass. Uh, I don't know what I'm supposed to do now, though. And so I did? What do you mean, so I did? Wait, what? Let's just drink a little bit. I don't know, are we supposed to be drinking? Like I said, I had to get on my schoolwork for Monday. Okay, here we go. That's what we have to do. But... Where is my schoolwork? Hey, I love the way you are good. Is this my schoolwork? No. Schoolwork at the dinner table? No. That yeah, looks like schoolwork, but I guess it's upstairs? Jeez, this room is mad creepy. This whole. The, this game, the whole fears to fathom. They definitely do create, I love how, like, you know, I love what they do when they, you know, make their environments. Because it definitely, they do a great job on creating a very creepy atmosphere. Like, very strange, very creepy, spooky, all that shit, you know. So we saw some chick outside. actually see through the blinds yeah we saw some chick outside it looks like she like left some shit out in front of the door and you you already know I ain't leaving the house cuz hell nah fuck ass no fuck that shit I'm not having none of that shit I'm not having none of that shit all right this is our homework right There was something at the door I had to go and check. What? What do you mean I had to go and check? Hell no. Nah. Oh my god. Do I really have to go check? Alright, fuck it. If we get a jump scare, fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. If we get the jump scare, screw it. Alright, here goes nothing. Fuck it. I'm just pressing. I'm just gonna left click the door and just say fuck it. Ah! Uh, who is it? Dot dot dot. Leave. We're just going. Uh, who is it? I won't ask again. Dot dot dot. Open. Ah! Just give me this shit! Ah! I didn't know what to make of it. Flowers? Wait, no, I don't want this shit. Get that shit out of here. I don't want that shit. Fuck that. I mean, take, take those flowers back. Hey, how are you? What did you have for dinner? What the hell? Oh, she said good night, Noah. Hope everything's okay. Nah, fuck that. I assumed it was the wrong number. Yeah, I had to throw them flowers away. Fuck no. It was strange, but I dismissed the thought as a weird coincidence and moved on. Um, besides, I had a lot of work to catch up on. Yeah, I had to throw that shit out. I ain't keeping that shit. Fuck no. Engrossment? What is this? What is this? So we're doing our homework, I guess? One thirty-six a.m. While I was in the middle of my schoolwork, the power went off. Yo, chill. 
Chill, chill, chill. Oh no! Jesus! Are you by yourself? Why do you keep ignoring me? Why are you always so mean to me? You're being very immature right now. Fine! If you are gonna be like that, I don't need you anyways. Todd is so much hotter anyways. Who are you? In that moment, I was almost certain that it had to be another prank by Turner. Hell no, that ain't no prank. I just knew guys like him so well. Besides, him and Andy were the only people who I who, who knew I was house-sitting alone. Oh, we got the camera to work. Oh, but what's the password? Password hit meow meow cat? Meow. Meow meow. Meow space meow. Alright, whatever. It's not working. What's that loud noise, man? Get that freaking... Alright, well, I'm terrified out of my mind. It's this. Mr. Carson apparently had power back up for his security system. But how come I can't use it? It's because I need the password, I guess. The hint was meow meow. Okay, it is real dark in there. So it says power was out, I can't continue my work like this. But there's power everywhere on, on right now, I don't, I don't understand. This looks like it's gonna charge up the whole house, bro. Dude, do I really have to go step outside there? Help me! Noah, wake up? What? Wait, what? Wait, what happened? Wait, why did the why did my game reset? Wait, what? Oh my god. Wait, what? Wait, what just happened? Um, all right guys, I I don't know what happened. I pressed enter on like something and it, it just reset from the beginning. Wait, what? How do I exit out of this? How do I like? Hold on, that, we might have a we might have a um, auto save, right? Cause nah, I'm not starting all the way from the beginning. What, bro? What the hell? Hell no, nah, I'm not starting from the beginning. What the? Oh my god, this is stupid. Power out. Here we go. We can start from the power out. Yeah, I was like, what the heck just happened, man? Alright, so at 1.36 a.m. Power went off. While I was in the middle of my schoolwork, power went off. Yep. Uh, okay, and yeah, we got this creepy person again. In that moment, I was almost certain it had to be another prank by Turner. I knew guys like him very well. 
Besides him and Andy were the only one who knew I was house sitting alone. Power was out. I am shitting myself right now. I'm literally shitting my pants right now. I'm freaking terrified, guys. I'm freaking terrified. Who's down? Is there anyone down here? Sorry guys, I'm not talking because I'm I'm literally shitting my pants right now. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Am I supposed to go outside? Flowers right there that I threw. Oh God, I'm freaked out. Oh, here we go. We got a new message. Wait, what? Oh, I thought we got a new message. What's the password, bro? Roy Carson, the password's meow, meow. Hint, password hint is meow, meow.
So we gotta we gotta find the password somehow. Mr. Carson apparently had power backup for his security system. Okay, but like, how do I turn on the power? It's got to be, like, in his room? <sighs> What's the password? Suddenly very cold outside. Okay, where's boy? Boy, are you here? Oh, shit. Okay, so boy is nowhere to be found. I'm scared. Dog. Yeah, I was like, where's my dog at? Why is he all the way there? Boy. Okay. I turned the power back on. I could tell that someone had cut the power off from outside. Yeah, we gotta leave. I gotta leave these flowers. I, it had to be Turner. He was really starting to piss me off now. I don't think it's Turner, mother effer. That should look like your ex girlfriend. Freaking Kara's freak ass. Oh boy, you're back. <coughs> oh, Zeke. Zeke, come inside. You can come inside, Zeke. No, 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 come here. Come on, Zeke. Come in. Oh no, he doesn't want to go inside. He said, fuck that shit. I'm leaving your ass. Freaking deal with that shit yourself. Oh god, guys. This is pretty scary. At least we have Zeke here with us again. Alright, Zeke's here to protect us from that crazy chick. Crazy ex. And, um... Yeah, hopefully um, Zeke can bite the shit out of her before she, you know, does any freaky-ish to us. Before she does some freaky-ish, you know what I'm saying? So we don't have any messages from Evelyn anymore. <clears throat> oh, here we go. You said we'd stay friends. Turner, this is not funny. I know it's you. So she's still... I had to get back to my schoolwork for Monday. Alright, we're going. I'm crouching everywhere, man. F that. I ain't trying to let no one hear me. So yeah, this, this person... She's got like some freaking freak ass type ish going on. She's got some freak type ish going on, you know what I'm saying? Shoot, I didn't want to do that. Engrossment? I don't even know what that means. I had a strange gut feeling about the situation. It might sound stupid now, but I just didn't want to overthink things. No, I got a text message. Jeez, that thing's freaking me out. Antivirus is on. 
Let's check out the cams. Let's see if anyone's in our house. If someone's in here, get the hell out. I am going to beat your ass. I'm going to beat your ass, trust me. Did this thing fall over, or has that always been like that? Egg? Still doesn't work. So we gotta just keep doing our schoolwork? I'm hearing something. Yo, someone's here! I heard something downstairs. Shit. Sorry, I had to, I, mute, I mute my mics during those times where it's like the the mic gets caught up or picked up in that. Um, they said I gotta check downstairs. Hell, I'm checking the cams first, mother effer. Make sure we good. Oh my god, I see them. They're outside. I saw them. They were outside. Dude, Zeke! Zeke! What are you doing, Zeke? I need you to bite this mother effer. Please? Please, Zeke? Nah, wait, I don't- I, what if I don't want to check it out? What if I just want to do my homework? Oh, I have to go downstairs. Fuck. Bro, I'm scared. I'm gonna literally do everything first besides go downstairs because fuck that. There's Zeke. Zeke, help me! Dude, what is Zeke doing? Bite! No, don't go to sleep, Zeke! Oh my god, he went back to the doghouse. Loki made me very uncomfortable knowing he was in the house. Wait, who's in the house? What? I had to confront him? What? No, I want to call the police. 
I didn't have his contact. I can only text Andy. Dude. Nah, my ass is... I'm staying up here. I'm calling the police. Fuck ass, no. I'm playing like a bitch, guys. I'm sorry, but that's just how it's gotta be. It's just how it's gotta be. Can you send me turn his contact? Ask him to quit messing. He's messing with what? He's been snooping around the house. This is not cool. And then Andy's gonna be like, dude, he's home. Dude, he's at my place right now. Yo, chill. I attributed all of that to the lack of my sleep. Uh, we were going to go to the movies with Brady, but then it started pouring, so we stuck with the sleepover. The only logical thing I could think of at that time was to keep an eye on the security monitor. Okay, let's do it. Yep, I'm not leaving this room. Fuck ass no. Oh shit, the door's open. <clears throat> Can we just do our homework? Oh my god. <clears throat> Dude, wait, did you check out that article? It was Brady who told me about it. Oh, this is real sketchy. Yeah, I saw the article. I saw the article. Jeez, this hallway looks ominous as fuck. See, this is the one thing that... This is a, one of the good, many good things that this, this uh, developer does. They make a great creepy atmosphere. So damn creepy. Holy shit, she's in the room! What? Yo, 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 we gotta get out. We gotta get out. I'm out, I'm out. Whatever is... I know you left me for her. 
Uh, at least she's not a junkie like you? Yo, chill. This is exactly why. But I love you. What about that? You need to leave right now. We deserve a second chance. You know I could turn you into the police for this. Dot, 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 dot. Do it and I will fucking kill both of you. Yo, sorry guys, I, I didn't know if I had to turn my mic on, or if I, I, I didn't know if I could turn my mic on, because I didn't know if I talked, she was gonna hear me, you know, because it had that, like, microphone shit, but uh, let, let's go, let's beat this game. Power back. Let's beat this game. Turn the power back on. Oh, okay, we're back. I can tell it's someone will cut the power from inside, from outside. It had to be Turner, so he pissed me off and get a text message, yeah. Mm. Let's have this door open for us, just so we can have easy access. Alright guys, so that's, um, well I don't know if this is the end of the game, but we're, I feel like approaching the end. We just have to like, they said that we have to just book it, we have to just run. We have to just run to the front door. I had a, a strange gut feeling about the situation, we're just gonna keep studying. Okay, yeah, that stuff. Oh! Hello there, pretty lady. Alright, we gotta go. There she is. Is she gonna go in the room? There she is. I don't think she goes into Mr. Carson's room. Let's try this as a hiding spot. So we gotta be careful because if she if she sees us, we die. So we can't even make eye contact with her. The problem is here is that we don't have any idea as to where she is now. So we can't... We don't have a good indicator of when to run. There should be like a dialogue popping up soon. Actually, didn't 
get the dialogue. Crap. Okay. So it looks like we have to go into that room. So, oh my god. I'm... Oh, I'm... I'm literally like... Oh, it's so scary. <clears throat> now, after seeing it twice, it's not that scary. I just gotta beat the game now. Alright, we're back. Third time's the charm. We should be able to just complete this joint. So, apparently, when she's... So, when she's in the computer room, we just have to book it. We just have to book it and then run? That seems very... Sketch. Um... I don't know. Let's just, let's just go. Let's just, let's just figure it out. We'll wing it. We'll wing it. Dude, for some reason, look at, dude, for some reason, like, my screen is so yellow, but then when I pull back, it, the, the yellow goes away. When I pull up, it get, turns yellow. When I go back, I don't know why I'm so yellow. I don't know why I'm so yellow. This camera sucks. Guys, hit the like, hit the sub if you guys are still watching so your boy can get a new flipping camera, alright? This freaking camera freaking stinks. Alright. All right, well, you guys are you guys are just going to be seeing the freaking Simpsons version of me cuz freaking freaking This camera sucks. I don't know why it's picking up the yellow so hard. There she is. There she is. I don't know why I'm such- I look like a Simpsons character right now, but I do. Alright, let's go. Like, the thing I'm scared about is, like, if I make a run for it, is she gonna be able to catch me? That's what I feel like is gonna happen, you know? I feel like she's gonna catch my ass. Like, I feel like I'm slow. I have to book it to the door? That's crazy. Maybe the conversation only starts when she gets close. Because the thing is, if I'm, if I'm hiding here and I run, dude, she's gonna know me. She's gonna know I'm here. So we send a text message. Now we just watch the cams and just wait. Just wait until she pulls up. Okay. What is that? What is this egg.exe? Oh, is she in the house now? She should be pulling up the stairs, right? She should be pulling up the staircase real quick. Should've called the cops. Yeah, you definitely should've called the cops. Buddy, Noah. Alright, Noah. You goofing up here, Noah. She's in. She's in. Her ass is in. Can we just call the cops already? Fudge, dude. I don't like... I'm terrified right now. I'm terrified. Alright, scary music. Oh, there she is! Hey there, girly! How you doing? Uh, let's go to the hallway now. Hey, how's it going? How's it going? Dang, she got a knife ready, yo. She is crazy. I guess this is what happens when, you know, you freaking, you, you, you get that good D, and then, you know, oh, let's, let's just get out. Let's just keep, let's just keep, like, a good eye on her. That's what happens when, you know, the good D runs away from you, all right? Hey, yo, she's watching TV? Okay. Oh, and she's out. She's like, who's watching me? Someone's watching me. Hey there, pretty lady. Sam, yo, her face looking fudge. She's looking scary. She's pulling out. She's popping out. All right, we gotta go. We gotta go. This is where we go. I gotta mute my mic, guys, because we're gonna be in the other room.
Sitting here with my mic off, waiting for this chick. She's not here. stuck at that she was stuck in front of the door for like 10 years bro she wouldn't move she wouldn't move bro all right guys freaking fourth time's the charm i don't know why she was stuck in front of the door she was stuck in front of the door she wasn't moving towards the um the security room that was so weird she was not moving towards the security room i don't i don't know why that was very strange because normally she would come up to here, walk inside of the room, and then it would give us the prompt to say, hey, we gotta make a run for it, right? She didn't even do that. She was chilling there for like 20 minutes, dude, I swear. I think she was like bugged or something. But that was interesting. We got a good close-up look at our um, our evil and evil villain or whatever. We saw Kara up close. Alright, the oven, we gotta turn the oven off. So I think I know where we messed up. I think we left a little bit too- OH! Holy, yo, wait, what is she doing down here? Wait, what? That was crazy. Wait, when did- when did she- Wait, I didn't- I didn't know that that was a, um, a time that you could die. What the heck, yo, this video is gonna be long. We're dying so much. Alright, guys, let's go again. So, I think we have to just wait a little bit. I don't think we're supposed to, um, just go down immediately. I think that's, you know, that was set up there so you couldn't, like, speed run this section. 
So you have to like actually go to look at the cameras before you go down and turn off the oven or else she will be inside the house. You have to make sure that you catch her on the camera leaving the house or she's like outside if you guys remember. Jeez, man. This is tough. It's only tough because she bugged out that time. Like, I don't, I don't know. So yeah, I didn't check the cameras here. And because I didn't check the cameras, we got ourselves another death. So that's very interesting, actually. I like that. No, I'm not getting up. We checking the cams, boy. She's right there, yep. And we see her, she's leaving, right? Yeah, she's out. So she should be gone. We should be good to go downstairs now without getting jump scared. Pretty sure. Dang, she was just hiding in that corner, yo. Freaking freak ass. Is she still there? Oh, okay, she's not there. Dang, yo, she popped up out of nowhere, though. Holy. Alright, we gotta speedrun this now, because, I mean, we're just so far in. Like, we need to just beat the game, dude. Alright, text him. Yeah, he's gonna go like, oh my god, whatever, whatever. I didn't do that. What are you talking about? He's at home with me. Whatever. Uh oh. A rut row raggy. So the door's open. She's already in. We just gotta wait for her to go up the stairs. So I guess we have to just wait until she's right in front of here. And then we make our move to the room to the left. And then that will proc the cutscene, or I mean the uh, the the next bit of dialogue. That's going to um, allow us to complete the game, and I think we just have to make a run for it. I think while she's in the room, we just have to run, and I hope that she doesn't catch us and then leave through the door. Wait, she should be inside, right? Okay, this is real sketchy. Let's go back to the camps. She should be in the hallways, right? Music is... Oh, there she is. Alright. Jeez, we've done this so many times already. Kara. Alright, just freaking let it go. I know you're upset that I dumped you. But we were in high school, alright? It was just a high school thing. Alright, so we have to just keep watching her uh, until she pulls up to this door, right? And then we gotta... Then we make our move to go to the room next door. Yeah, she's she's watching some TV. She's watching her little Saturday, Sunday cartoons. She's like, get out of here. She's tired of it. She's like, wait, I came here for... I came here to kill somebody. Why am I watching TV? Understandable. Understandable. So she's out. She's gonna come into here. That first time when we went into Mr. Carson's room... That one was a pretty good one. Oh, wait, she actually... Oh. I thought she was gonna go inside Mr. Carson's room. She's just looking around. gonna go try to enter into here. This is the room literally we're in right now. She was right outside the room I was in. So, this is when we leave. So we're gonna... Uh, I think I could talk, right, without getting in trouble? Noah, are you in there? I really missed you. So we, I wasn't able to t have this uh, to talk to you guys about this because I was too scared. But I think we're good. Whatever is happening between between us, we can work this work it out together. How did you get in here? I've always been nothing but nice to you. 
but you always treated me like shit. You need help, Kara. I know everything. I know you left me for her. It's different with her. This is exactly why. At least she is not a junkie like you. Sorry, I'm, I'm trying to act a little. Sorry. Uh, it's different with her. But I love you. What about that? Uh, I'm gonna turn off my mic because I'm scared. <laughs> I'm running! I'm running, I'm running, I'm running! Get me out, get me out, get me out! I'm not looking down, I'm not looking down! Oh, is that it? I left the house and ran down the block. My dad called the cops. Though by the time they arrived, she had already left the house. But I knew where she lived. Kara was one of the first people I met on a dating site. She was three years older than me, but I found her cute, so we started dating. However, two months into our relationship, she started doing hard drugs. I tried to get her help, but she turned it around on me as if I was trying to change her. One day I had enough and I had to break up with her. I told her to leave and never contact me again. She was pissed. She was trying to convince one of the cops she didn't intend on doing anything wrong that night, but of course the cop wasn't buying it. They reviewed the footage and it showed everything, from the point of her entry to the point she grabbed the kitchen knife. But the thing that messed with me the most was the fact that that nothing was stolen from the house. Turns out she was heavily under the influence of drug and alcohol at the time. She was arrested and sentenced for a long while. Woo! There we go, baby. So we're outside of the Carson house. Berlizzi? Cooking with Jeffrey voice actor was Berlizzi? Berlizzi was a top donator for Fears of Fathom episode 3? What? Yo, and Jacksepticeye. Wow, those are some big names. Those other ones, they might have been big names too, but I don't, I don't know. A game by rail? Okay. This isn't gonna be the thumbnail, but... Okay, that's it. Okay, guys! Wow, that was a longer, longer episode of Fears to Fathom. Usually, you know, the, the game usually runs about an hour. Your boy ran into a little bit of a bug. Um... But, um, you know, we managed to... I just brain farted there, sorry. But we managed to pull through. I didn't cheat, guys. I didn't cheat. I did not cheat. I know nowhere in the in the playthrough did I look on the internet for the answers for for anything. Nope, none of that. I just you know stuck to my brain, and you know we did the thing and we figured it out and we got out of the Carson House alive, baby. All right, no cheats, none of that. Um, if you guys enjoyed today's video, Fears of Fallen Episode Three, Carson House, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, or chat in the premiere. Let me know how you feel about the series. Are you guys enjoying it? Do you guys like when you see me getting spooked and freaked out? I don't, but maybe you do. So if you do, let me know uh, in the comments. Um, we only have one more episode left, guys, which is going to be happening next week, guys. So on Tuesday, get ready for Fears to Fathom, Episode 4. What's it called? Uh, Iron Bark Lookout. So we're going to be um, venturing to Iron Bark this time. 
and uh, we're gonna see what uh, survivor story um, fears to fathom in rail or what what survivor story rail has to tell um, survival horror all that stuff um, this game this episode was a lot better than episode 2 um, by a long shot, um, you could tell by, first of all, I don't know if there was a good amount of donators for episode 2. I, I didn't really um, pay attention to the credits, but for episode 3, the credits, the top donators were Berlizzi and Jacksepticeye. Two huge YouTubers. So you can tell with episode 3 that they had a little bit bigger budget, more money to work with, more time. You know, um, maybe they had money to hire people who knows um well i guess they did because they hired berlizzi to do the voice acting for the tv i think um but yeah it, it, um fears of fathom episode three is definitely a step up a huge step up from episode one and episode two um i would say that this plays a lot better the lore is a lot more um easier to understand than, you know, uh, episode 1, episode 2. Episode 2 was kind of all over the place. It's like, what's the lore of it? Is it monsters in Norwood Valley? Is it evil hitchhikers? Is it that lady with the white and blue dress? Um, you know? Or, um, was it just some random guy in, uh, you know, that stalks the motel? You know, there were so many, like, um... There are so many things that they were labeling as like the big bad guy, but when it came out, when it came down to it, it was just one of those things. So, I like how in episode three, Carson House is just very, you know, just straight to the point. It's not really deviating to other sorts of theories and other sorts of things that potentially it could be. No, it's just this is the story. This is it. Um, you know, maybe you could think a little bit more about it, but, you know, not, not too much. So, I like how they got it. It was a little bit straightforward. Um, if I was to give this game on a scale of 1 to 10, ju uh, just knowing that this game was around, like, $7, $6, so it's it's less than $10 game. Um, for a less than a $10 game... Hold on. Sorry. For a less than a $10 game, honestly, I'm going to have to give this on a scale of 1 to 10... A solid 8 out of 10. It's a it's a really cheap game. Um, if you're into horror, if you're into a little bit of story, um, uh, no, we'll say 7.5 because it could have been a little bit longer. It could have been a little bit longer. I would have liked to have seen a little bit more. Um, but you know, I would know. Mm, we'll keep it at 8. We'll keep it at 8. Um, I'll stay firm at 8. It's less than $10, so I'm not rating on a scale of like a triple A game or whatever, but you know, just overall for the price and for the experience that you have, I'd give it an 8 out of 10 because, you know, it doesn't just throw you immediately into the horror. It, you know, kind of builds it up a little bit. You know, we get to go grocery shopping. We get to talk to our friends. We learn about, you know, um, we get to talk to, um, uh, students that we go to our school in the grocery store. So there's, like, a little bit of, like, you know, interactivity, a little bit of more game going on with this game. So that's why I guess I'll stick with my 8 out of 10 rating, because unlike Fears of Fathom 1 and Fears of Fathom 2, yeah, there was a little bit of, like, you know, miscellaneous things you could do, but it wasn't as prominent as, um, Fears of Fathom Episode 3, because in Fears of Fathom 3... You actually have to go grocery shopping. You, have, you There's actually people that you could talk to that, like, interact with you. There's a random grandma at the gas station where you get an achievement from if you buy her or if you show her where the mustard is, you know? A lot more game to this game, so I, I definitely enjoy that a lot, you know? Like I said, it didn't just throw you straight into the horror. It, it built it up a little bit, you know? Um, and I definitely will say that... Throughout the entirety of the um, Fears of Fathom series, at least from my experience, episodes 1 through 3 that I've played so far, all three of them do a very great job at giving off a very scary vibe. You know, even though it, you know, this doesn't, it doesn't look that scary. There's not much really scary about it. Like, Kara is not that scary, the main villain in this one, and the creepy guy, the creepy white guy. In the motel it wasn't scary you know but um they 
you know, regardless of that, they, like, it's not that that's the scary thing. It's just, like, the story. It's the vibe. It's the, um, it's the eeriness that, you know, um, yeah, it's the eeriness of the, you know, the mystery about, you know, these, you know, evil people that's more scarier than the actual scares, if that makes sense. So, that's why I wanted to bring that up because... I think they did a really good job of doing that. I think they really did a good. They did a really good job of translating um, horror and you know um, anxiety and like um, fear into the players with their game, with the sound design, with the creepy um, found footage ring videos that are always on the TVs. It was in the TVs on episode one. It was in the TVs in episode three. Those like weird found footage, scary things. Like it just all adds to the vibe. And I want to say that you know, Fears of Fathom does a great job of you know um, instilling fear, instilling horror, anxiety in you. And I, I definitely that's why I you know rate it so highly because maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just a little bitch, but. All three of them definitely incited fear and anxiety in me, you know? Like, maybe um, episode two was not as much um, because there was like, you know, we're on the road and stuff and, you know, whatever, we were at a motel. It wasn't too frightening, but this one was frightening for sure um, with all the text messages and, you know, we had the... Um, doorbell from the pizza guy that was a little bit of a scare too i was freaked out i was like dude who is this guy is he gonna come attack me whatever whatever so i definitely um think that this is a good game i would definitely recommend it to people episode three for sure um episode three was a solid one um as you guys can tell this video is like two hours long i think the whole gameplay if you kind of like go through it at a decent pace is about like an hour but we managed to do two hours, so uh, that's because we failed a couple of times. So, you know, there is a little bit of, you know, length to episode three. So I, I like that. Um, but yeah, not really too much to talk about this game because it, it is a one hour game. Not really much crazy story to go around. Um, but yeah, that's our story of Noah, who. Um, got himself into a very sticky situation with um, his crazy exes that he met on a dating website, I believe. She was into hard drugs, she was into alcohol, and when Noah, our main character, dumped her, she decided that she didn't want to get dumped, and, you know, here we are playing Fears of Adam 3 Carson House. Um, and like, I, and another thing I want to mention is I like the fact that they gave us a little bit of lore on Roy Carson, and you know how um, his story um, ultimately related to our story. So I like the connection there. That's another thing that I want to bring up about this game. You know, um, not every like you know all these little tiny things they are you know they do mean something. So I like that little connection there. Um, but yeah, um, police arrested Kara for a very long time. She's not going to get out. Um, so yeah, I'm just ready for episode 4 now. Iron Bark Lookout. For the most part... Um, oh my god, I almost forgot to mention one super important thing. In the beginning of Carson House, we were inside of a laundromat. And it was like a dream kind of sequence. Um, and then when we went to the employee's um, employee room, you know, we just saw a, a unlimited, you know, infinite line of laundry machines. And then to the right, we saw somebody who looked like Joe from Norwood Hitchhike. I had to bring that up because I mentioned that when we saw him, I was like, dude, is that Joe? Uh, I don't know if it was Joe, but it looked like Joe. And I think I remember the dialogue um, uh, I don't remember it too well, but from what I remember, remember, he was just like, the bleach, where's the bleach? You know, we need the bleach. And then he called us out by our name, like, as if he recognized us. He's like, Noah? Noah? So, and that didn't look like our dad when, um, our dad was shopping us off. They didn't have the same clothes, so... 
I was thinking that it was Joe because uh, I, I, I don't know. It's just a little theory, but you know, as far as I'm concerned, all of these are standalone series. But with the beginning of Carson House in that laundromat scene, it makes me think that maybe potentially we are in the same universe here, and that you know these stories are connected somehow. Um, I don't know, but that was a very interesting thing. Um, the laundromat scene in the beginning. It looked like we were talking with Joe, the guy who saved us in the last uh, Norwood Hitchhike, last episode. But I don't know, that's just a theory. Um, but yeah, that thing, I think that's everything that I had to talk about. For a game that's less than $10, I'd give this a solid 8 out of 10. It, gra it, gave, a, it gave a great story, gave a great gameplay. Um... Obviously, I wish maybe there was a little bit more, but you know, it's less than ten dollars. It's supposed to be like a short kind of game too, so um, yeah, solid game, guys. Eight out of ten. Thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna stop talking because I'm just rambling about rant about what a God knows what now. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, Iron Bark Lookout is going to be coming on Tuesday, so get ready for that. Subscribe to the channel. Do all that stuff. Hit the bell notification. So you know when it goes live, but I'm going to tell you right now, it's probably going to go live at 3 p.m. on Tuesday. So um, get get excited, guys. We're going to be closing out the Fears to Fathom series. Um, thank you guys so much for supporting. Love you guys. I'm out. Peace!